obviously the the censorship hysteria in the u.s is too much it's not just the u.s it's, it's really in, in most of the west now that you know oh you said something we don't like we're going to take away your money we're going to take away your youtube channel we're going to take away this and that and they're doing it so much now that you know they, they're, they're going after anyone who they don't like and and it's unfair and it's not correct and, and it's wrong yeah, and that, and that should be criticized, right? That should absolutely be criticized. It's crazy now that the, the people who push the most for this censorship, um, you know, are, are actually journalists, right? Who work at CNN, who work at all these um, outlets. They, they, they're the ones saying like, yes, you should have corporations like Apple and Twitter and Facebook. They're the ones who should be, you know, working with the state uh, to combat, um, you know, misinformation and disinformation. That's their excuse, right? Uh, you know, disinformation or and misinformation or not, they are basically advocating for fascism. When you you have collusion of the state and and corporations uh, merging into one and silencing dissidents, I'm sorry, that's a hallmark of fascism. That's 101. Now, with that said, with that said, just because you in the United States you have a First Amendment, it doesn't mean you have to go and and start saying every single fucking thing that comes out of your brain. Uh, or uh, comes out of you know uh, comes across your mind and say dumb shit like 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 what Kanye is saying like oh I love Hitler what the fuck is that accomplishing you know you you you're you're just digging yourself into a deeper hole in Germany and Austria they have very very specific laws against this kind of stuff you can't just go around doing you know Nazi salutes and carrying Nazi flags and and saying this kind of shit because th that specifically in those places that's where the Nazis were in power and where they persecuted. Uh, uh, people, you know, I think in, in especially in those places, you need to have those laws. And keep in mind, the ones who pushed for this are the 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 Western countries, the the you know the the Allied powers who occupied um, Germany after the war because they did not want this stuff to happen again. It's it, it's kind of like what they did in Iraq, right? Debathification, but that I mean that was a completely different beast because that that was a terrible terrible mistake. Uh, you know, in in Iraq, you had teachers uh, unionists anyone who were all members of the bath party so you know from from one moment to the next you had all these people who were out of work um and they, they just created chaos i mean that was some straight up colonial shit that was some straight up colonial crap um i forgot his name paul bremer uh, uh, you know walking off the plane uh into baghdad and saying we declare the bath party you know dissolved or something like who are the who the fuck are you they they invaded and cooed that country. That's completely different from from denazification. I, I know there are people who are going to look at what Kanye is saying and say, "Wow, this is this is so good for free speech." It's not really. I mean, it's again, you you can you can find a compromise between you know, um, like we we don't have to behave like CNN and ban everybody that that you know you disagree with. That's not good. At the same time, we don't have to let people just you know run around and say, "I love Hitler" and start waving Nazi flags. They, they, surely there's a something in the middle, right? I think the reason you you have people so not not a, i mean not everyone but the reason you have this uh mentality that oh it's okay to do this it's okay to, to do what kanye just did be it's because people don't grasp how bad the nazis were okay they, they they did not grow up um in an area or with friends or with family or uh acquaintances who suffered under the nazis so they have a completely different understanding of world war ii they think they think it's it's they don't understand how bad it was that's what i'm trying to say it's crazy. It's crazy. And, and I know people are saying, well, you know, he's mentally ill. He has bipolar. No, man, you know, that, that's not okay. You're basically saying everybody who has mental illness is, is, is like, uh, you know, go and say, I love Hitler. No, that's ridiculous. Um, and, it, you know, if, if, if that is true, he should, you know, people should be trying to help him, not, you know, bring him on and say this shit. I don't know. It's not healthy. Maybe in, in America, you know, this, this shit flies, but I'm sorry, you know, in, 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 the places where the Holocaust happened, you, you can't, you, you can't say this stuff, man. It's no, 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 no. I, the, I don't know what the solution is to this, man, because people, you know, you, you'll have people that say, well, he should be put in jail. And then you have other people say, no, this is freedom of speech. I'm not, no, I don't, I don't know if the guy should, you know, I think he needs uh, psychiatric help before jail. Let's put it that way. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the, I'm, I'm not used to this, man. I, I don't think this is okay. You know, even Alex Jones was creeped out by this, you know? He's, he's telling, like, my family fought against the Nazis in World War II. And, and, and he's, he, uh, Kanye is, like, pushing, no, 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 I love Hitler. What is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? Like, I understand, you, you, you know, you're, you feel that maybe the media are after you. Fine, but tackle that appropriately. What, you just, you handed them more ammunition against you. You did the dumbest shit you could possibly do. 
and and you kind of like the 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 thing that he did here is basically people have been calling him anti-semitic for weeks and he just basically confirmed it for them why would you do that man why would you do that you screwed yourself you shot yourself in the foot this was so dumb not not to mention that the stuff you're saying is ridiculous is outrageous i i can see that there's something a little off here because aside from the the very explicit comments the the fact that he he doesn't tackle the root issues uh, shows me that there's a lack of understanding or, or, or maybe it's on purpose. You know, he, he doesn't like tackle uh, the Palestinian issue. He doesn't say like, oh, look what the Israelis are doing to the Palestinians. That's not right. Um, he, he doesn't, because he, he, he brought up the Abram Accords, right? The, the quote unquote peace plan. So that's why we're talking about this. Um, he, 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 he fails to see that the Abram Accords are, are not bad because Jared Kushner made some money. Yes, obviously that's, that's corrupt. The main issue is because they're, they're forcing this legitimization on Arab countries and, and that's why it's bad. Do you, do you understand? He, he, no, one, no one brings this up. There were much better ways to go about this and that's not it. That is not it.